STS-51I was the 20th mission of NASA's Space Shuttle program and the sixth flight of Space Shuttle Discovery. During the mission, Discovery deployed three communications satellites into orbit. The mission launched from Kennedy Space Center, Florida, on August 27, 1985, and landed at Edwards Air Force Base, California, on September 3. Topic Crew Topic Spacewalks Fisher and Van Hoften, Eva One Eva One Start, August thirty first, nineteen eighty five Eva One End, August thirty first, nineteen eighty five Duration seven hours, twenty minutes Fisher and Van Hoften, Eva 2 Eva 2 start, September 1, 1985 Eva 2 end, September 1, 1985 Duration, 4 hours, 26 minutes Topic. Crew seating arrangements Topic Launch Topic Mission Summary Discovery launched at six fifty eight AM Eastern Daylight Saving Time on August twenty seventh, nineteen eighty five. Two earlier launch attempts, one on August 24 and another on August 25, were scrubbed, the first because of poor weather, and the second because the backup orbiter computer failed and had to be replaced. The successful launch on August 27 took place just as an approaching storm front reached the launch pad area. The five-man STS-51I crew included Joe H. Engel, Commander, Richard O. Covey, Pilot, and James Van Hoften, John M. Lounge, and William F. Fisher, Mission Specialists. Their primary mission was to deploy three commercial communications satellites and retrieve and repair the Syncom IV-3 satellite, which had been deployed during the STS-51D mission in April 1985, but had malfunctioned. In addition, a mid-deck materials processing experiment, the Physical Vapor Transport Organic Solid Experiment PVTOS, was flown aboard Discovery. The three communications satellites were OSSAT-1, a multipurpose spacecraft owned by Australia, ASC-1, owned and operated by the American Satellite Company, and Syncom IV-4, leased to the Department of Defense by its builder, Hughes Co. Both OSSAT-1 and ASC-1 were deployed on the day of the launch, 27 August. Syncom IV-4 was deployed two days later. All three achieved their planned geosynchronous orbits and became operational. On the fifth day of the mission, astronauts Fisher and Van Hoften began repair efforts on the malfunctioning Syncom IV-3, following a successful rendezvous maneuver by Discovery. The effort was slowed by a problem in the remote manipulator system elbow joint. After a second EVA by Fisher and Van Hoften, the satellite's control lever was repaired, permitting commands from the ground to activate the spacecraft's systems and eventually send it into its proper geosynchronous orbit. The two EVAs lasted a total of 11 hours and 46 minutes. Discovery landed on runway 23 at Edwards Air Force Base at 6.16 a.m. Pacific Daylight Saving Time on September 3, 1985. The flight lasted a total of 7 days, 2 hours, 18 minutes and 42 seconds, during which the shuttle completed 111 orbits of the Earth. Gallery. Topic: Wake up calls. NASA began a tradition of playing music to astronauts during the Gemini program, and first used music to wake up a flight crew during Apollo 15. Each track is specially chosen, often by the astronauts' families, and usually has a special meaning to an individual member of the crew, or is applicable to their daily activities.
Topic. See also. List of human spaceflights. List of space shuttle missions.